setting up, setting up. Hi bestie, welcome back to the vlog. I have been posting videos and all of those videos have been from my archives. So they're like either from a year ago or months ago. And the reason for that is a lot has happened to my life that I'm sharing to you guys right now. To those five people who's watching, thank you for watching. Click the like button and subscribe because I'm seeing my stats. I mean, most of you who are watching are not subscribed, so please subscribe to me. Yung pagiging ko ng subscribe sa it sounds like a very needy, attention seeker type of bitch to say. But yes, I'm an attention seeker and that's why I'm here. Anyway, I created this channel like, was it two years ago during the pandemic season? And yes, I'm speaking in English and Spanish because. I'm really tensed right now and if you guys have been watching my previous vlogs, I mentioned that and you might also hear a cat in the background because my neighbors has cats which is a different talk and a different problem that I may be able to share in the future. I created this channel like two years ago during the pandemic because I'm still in school but I have a lot of time and I want to express myself, my creative self through the platform and as well as maybe gain some monetization, TBH, everyone wanted to be a dog. And then there's the dog, the neighbor. So we have the dog, the cat of the neighbor and all the other pets. Shout out to you all. The main thing, monetization is one of the main reasons why I created this channel and then it translated into something a bit more because it became like a memory storage for me now I go back to my old videos and I feel all the kinds of emotions I know it's kind of a weird thing to say to have like a memory storage in YouTube when you can just have it privately stored in your um, gallery or in your google drive where one thing that's a good thing about youtube I mean, compared to google drive and other storage platforms is that youtube you can upload unlimited and it could stay there online it could be private public or whatever whichever um privacy settings you want mine i'm setting them in public because why not i'm just sharing my life to some of you all some may relate to it, some may not. Some may even treat it as a big hug from a friend for me to my friends watching. So yeah, to be honest with you, it has also been um, a way for me to backtrack where I was at life and where I'm going and where I am right now. Yeah, and it's really helpful. And it's really important to know that. So anyway, this um, vlog that I will be posting, I finally done my era with series, vlog series, so I'm just gonna be posting random stuff moving forward and discuss about life. So this video that I will be posting is about my vacation, um, this year vacation, the summer break, right after the first semester of college, and yes, the semester when I was a working student that, that was a really hard time and right now I'm not gonna go back to studying temporarily because I'm gonna be focusing on my career and to this new commitment that I found I am living independently now I own a place now uh, I wanted to do a tour but it's not yet completed we'll get cup of water because it's been really hot and I hope you enjoy this video. So it's just your present czar saying hi. Welcome to the vlog. Hi 
got the summertime, summertime sadness. Got the summertime. <laughs> it's the motherfucking chickens for me. Si lau ui. Dili. Country roads. All my memories gather around her. I brought a few gifts that I had received from Manila from workmates and friends. This one is from I Am Damsel. Yes. Oh my god. This is the first one. At this. Thank you, Ate Dom. So cute. So we have a Taylor. Taylor merch a pillow. We have the next one. This is for my cousin. She knows that I'm a bitch for like strings. I'm gonna keep this. I have a wallet. It's Kate Cross. Mm. So bougie. I think this is gonna get close. I think this is for my mom. Books. This is for So this is mine. That, that one was the books. It's not for me. That's for my mom. But this one's for me. So funny. Wait, how is it? A woman. It's a big one, but it's okay. It's so cute. I received three gifts. I have a tailor. I have a wallet. I need plush. Oh my god. It's out. Okay, let's go. Classmates from elementary, as in sobrang saya namin dyan. And if you can see, yes, parang kami lang ang nagsasayo kasi yung ibang batch. Nagsiuwi na sila. And we just had to take space and claim the moment. Kasi minsan lang ito mangyari. And here's more clips of us um, partying and having fun.
So hi bestie, let's talk about success. But before that, here's my fashion influence, my greatest fashion influence, my mommy, my auntie. And here's me and my friends. Um, the next day after the class reunion, we went out and we ride a tangkalan. So it's like a motorbike with like a machine attached to it. So yeah, so let's talk about success. By the way, here's my cute little niece with her microbang. So me and her had microbangs both. And I just need to insert this clip here. This is a local diner in Masabate and they were playing Lana Del Rey. So yeah, and maybe let's just talk about success later. So after the party and all the other things, we went to a friend's house that weren't able to attend the class reunion because the um her travel um her ship's travel was i think it's delayed because it's holiday season so si tina tina thank you so much for hosting us sobrang sarap nung iniyaw mo na bangus and lempo and eto yung scene kung saan mo tikna masunog yung bahay nila kasi nakalimutan niya yung fries na nakasalam and yes, makikita niyo sobrang usok na sa loob ng bahay nila. Dili end ko eh. Ang rasun na. Ano ang rasun na. Ano ang rasun na. Okay na, siya straight na bag. Straight na, sorry sinin. Wow. Pangyari sa tumakuhan? Aram ko ito ta. Video natin. Video? Hi po. Hi po. Tang ina niyo. Chicks, ano yun ang first kiss ko? May ibis na rekog doon! So, while me and my friends are night swimming here and lighting up the bonfire, let's talk about success. So, Miriam Webster, or was it Miriam? Anyway, that famous dictionary defines success as a measure of succeeding or a favorable outcome or desire. Basically, on a personal level, I would say success is something that how you want it to be, or ikaw ang nagdedefine ng success. As mentioned by the definition, it's a favorable outcome, something that you desired. And although eminence or being prominent and wealth is also along the lines of the definition of success. That shouldn't be the main defining detail about success. <laughs> I'm only 23 right now and I would say I've achieved a lot. Um, Money-wise, I'm kind of stable. I am financially free, I have a job that pays good, something that I'm really grateful for, a really great work environment as well. Well, it has its ups and downs, but I'm really grateful for my job right now. And I've been to places that I never thought I wouldn't afford going to. I have went to parties and concerts and whatnot, I purchased items that I once didn't have budget for but all those material and physical things doesn't really make me successful as I grew older in this lifetime one thing that I would treasure would be happiness would be the ability to process emotions in a very healthy, in a very loving and in a very kind way to myself, to the people around me, and most especially to the effects that it has to me. For me, that's what success is. Is being able to process each day, each emotions with love, with care, with compassion, and again, with kindness to myself. Kasi ano ang gagawin mo dun sa mga bagay, sa mga pera, sa mga lugar na puntahan mo? You were there, but you were miserable. You was able to achieve that title, but you were miserable because I went through that shit. 
I was once promoted and I was miserable as hell. I was supposed to get a higher paycheck but I was so miserable at that time. Not because of the work itself but there were um, other factors that played into um, the misery that I had experienced and that's when I realized success isn't about material things, it's about emotions. Success is about living life and being grateful. That's when you'll know you're successful. Kasi, how would you call yourself successful if araw-araw may pera ka, may work ka, may title ka, may power ka, may eminence ka, but you don't get to smile <laughs> and you don't get to share it with the people that was there. Like my friends here. We were there through all this shit and the life. But we are still able to meet each other, laugh with each other, and joke about the things that happened in the past. Be afraid of the things that might happen in the future, but still laugh at it. So yeah, for me, that's what success is. I really wanted to insert this voice over here while me and my friends were having fun because as I've mentioned in my birthday vlog, I've been feeling insecurities a lot during that time, especially not yet getting a degree and my friends already achieving a lot of academic advances. And I'm really proud of them, to everyone. Um, in my batch, we already have people who have passed the nursing, the let licensure examination for teachers, for policemen, and I'm really proud of all of them. Really, really proud of you guys. Although, I'm gonna be honest, it made me insecure, but that was a really utaktalangka moment for me. I'm not really comparing myself to them. I'm not really making this video as an excuse that I don't have yet my degree. Okay, Kaya nung balit ko? Hello! Parating na pontil ni tata. My main point for this video is that it's okay Kung hindi mo priority ngayon ang graduate or makuha yung degree na yun. As long as meron ka mga bagay na pinangahawakan na it makes your life happy. It could make you process emotions better. It could give you the stability financially, mentally, physically. And it could provide you with the ability to sustain yourself. You're doing good. You're successful. And the other people is questioning your success. Or your definition of success fuck them all at the end of the day this is your journey this life is how and what you make it to be this is not about them this is about you and your journey so yeah you're successful dude you made it Kaganda mo talaga sa no? Kaganda mo. Magandaan. Iding. Ayo ay iding. Ito ang gusto mo iding. Mark, hindi ka mark. Iding kay baga. Tige baga ng rabbit. Oh, 
pag aaw Maalis tayo Sa tunay na So a day, maybe a day after the first camping slash bonfiring, we went for another one. That's the perks of living near the ocean or on an island is that you just need to sit by the ocean, start a fire, grab a marshmallow, or just even bring yourself maybe some cigarettes, some alcohol, and talk about life and you're good. A thing that we talked about here in this particular day that also relates to success is about help. Us as an Asian country, Philippines, going back to my studies on Asian versus Western culture, tayo mga ano tayo? What do you call that? We are more dedicated to helping one another compared to Western culture where they're very independent as we are very dependent, both in a healthy and a negative way. But let's talk about it in a more healthy <laughs> scope or vision. So me and my friends talked about how some of us already have jobs and work and whatnot. So it's also our jobs to make sure that we extend our help to those who are applying for jobs, who are looking for jobs. Because you are not going to be successful without being honest to yourself that you also need help. Not necessarily na isusubo na sa'yo lahat because that's a very unhealthy way of depending Help is about being honest to yourself na you don't have the position yet or you don't have the job yet. So you are networking for people who are more oriented who, who, or who are already there and the position that you want to have and being grateful if they helped you. I also started my successful journey that I would call now by needing help from a friend and that's Marvik. Thank you so much for helping me. Here's me at my T37 tooth extraction, which was a really, really painful thing to do and to start the year, which put me in bed rest for a couple of days. So yeah, um, this is where the video ends. Here's a montage of my beautiful town slash home, Poblacion. And I hope you have the time to like this video. If you enjoyed watching me about tips in life you can subscribe to you can hit the notification bell picasso yarn and yeah again to be successful is to be in power of your own journey to be the one who's holding the steering wheel and not giving two fucks about the people who are questioning you and your journey as long as stable ka di ka nahihirapan nakakatawa ka masaya ka kaya mong i-process yung emotions and you have the freedom to do things you're successful and if you're not there yet seek help or work harder kasi walang bagay sa mundong ito ang hindi mo ma-achieve like emotions it flows hindi ka laging masaya hindi ka rin laging malungkot pero lahat ng yun kaya mong i-achieve just keep going friend this is also a reminder to myself to keep going Again, thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.